Hi, I'm Ken Johnson. I head up product management for JBoss Integration Products here at Red Hat. I'm here today to tell you about the JBoss Enterprise Data Services Platform. The Data Services Platform starts at its core with our SOA platform. Please check out my other video which describes the SOA platform in more detail. Starting with that SOA platform, we add several key components for data virtualization and metadata repository capabilities. Our data virtualization engine allows you to create composite unified views of your data assets, very high performance, read-write access to your data, and it provides federated access across a multitude of data sources. Our metadata repository allows you to store, manage, and version these assets, our data models, our virtual databases, DDL files, text files, WSDL files, other assets you create in implementing your data services solution. We also add data access layers in terms of JDBC and ODBC drivers that allow different kinds of clients to connect and access data services. That's in addition to our SOAP and REST-based interfaces, which are more amenable to a service style of invocation. In addition to the data virtualization and metadata repository components, we also extend JBoss Developer Studio with advanced model-driven tooling to facilitate the developer and make them able to quickly and easily build and deploy data service models to the runtime environment. In addition, we also extend JBoss Operations Network to enable monitoring, management, and runtime governance of your data service artifacts. This complete set of runtime and design time components and technologies is delivered in one integrated platform. That's a quick overview of the JBoss Enterprise Data Services Platform.